35,000 to go into Lee Watkinson in the big blind already with a 9-8 of clubs. Well, he's got the suited connectors, the kind of hand you like to see flops with. Call. It's going to cost him 85,000 more. Doesn't slow him down. He has made the call. So David Tran trying to bully Lee out of the pot here because of his chip stack, but it's not working. Yeah, you're absolutely right. David with the 10-7. Lee Watkinson with the 9-8 of clubs. Here comes the flop. Well, the flop is 10-3 deuce, all red cards. Nice flop for David Tran. There's flop. Top pair. Action's going to be on him. Yeah, the big dragon getting fed on that flop, hitting top pair. Well, that's what he's contemplating is. If he checks here, would this guy be enticed to bluff at this pot? But you don't know what your opponent's got. If he's got something like a queen jack, and he checked behind you and then hit one of those cards, you feel very foolish about checking this flop. David Tran is reaching for chips, and he is going to take a bet. 300000 yeah, no shenanigans for Lee Watkinson. He quickly folds his hand. So Big Dragon playing with a mess of a hand before the flop. Raising, hitting, taking down the pot. Well, there you see David the Dragon fam cheering his man on. You know, David Trance trying to do something that the Dragon has never done. That's win a WPT title, even though he's been at five WPT final tables. And, Mike, I'm a little confused because, you know, David Tran has been nicknamed the Big Dragon, but his mentor is just the Dragon, David Fama. How do you do that? Well, you're right, man. It seems like he should be either the Little Dragon or even the Iguana or something. It's very strange. Well, it's the Big Dragon. Let's go with it. All right. Action's going to Tom Hare, the local, former printer. He's got a 6-3. He is going to muck it. David Tran has gone out. And now Lee Watkinson. In his second and two major WPT events. Oh. Lee Watkinson has gone all in with a pair of sevens. Well, you can't blame him there, Vance. He's on the short stack. Mr. Miami. Noah Schwartz with a pair of eights right behind him. Well, Noah's probably thinking, I just doubled this guy up a moment ago. Got a chance to get my chips back here. What to do with two eights? Pair over pair. 451,000 all in. I'm all in. Well, he's gone all in over yeah, the top in. here. He's not going to just call Lee Watkinson just in case it would entice Gavin Griffin to call. Gavin Griffin out. I hope you have Ace King. Well, we're going to see it. Oh. All right. Well, well they turn up the hands. Lee not liking that. Dominated right now. Sevens underneath the eights. Big trouble for Lee Watkinson. It's the worst position you can be when your money's all in before the flop, pair against pair. He's got the walking sticks, and if he doesn't help him, Vince, he's going to be walking out of here in fifth place. Yeah, there, right? <laughs> the walking sticks, he's going to be walking. If he doesn't catch it, the walking sticks. Yeah, Vince, you certainly can't blame Lee for going all in on the button no. against the two blinds with this hand. Very unlikely one of the players is going to have an over pair in this situation. Unfortunately for Lee, that is exactly the case. So Lee Watkins' tournament life on the line right now. And Noah trying to say to himself, you know, last time I had this guy, he outdrew me. Surely you can't do it again. Here comes the flop. Oh, and the flop comes up. Ace Jack 10. No help for Lee. Lee is looking for a seven to take the lead. I'm sure he'd be happy if the board paired twice where they would split this pot. If the king and the queen came up, they'd also split it. But right now, Lee Watkinson on the ropes. He needs some help. Girlfriend Timmy DeRosa sweating her man. Here comes the turn card. Well, the nine of hearts comes off. Huh. Now, ironically, Lee Watkinson no longer needs a seven because that would give his opponent a straight. Two sevens, he needs a two-outer, but not a seven. He needs an eight. That would give him a straight. Needs to get lucky on the last card. Will he get it? He's looking for a snowman or he's going to melt away in fifth place. All right. Will this be the demise of Lee Watkinson? Well, if it's not an eight ball in a corner pocket, Lee Watkinson's going to be out of here. And a uh, deuce of spades, not going to do it for Lee. Well, that's going to do it for the two-time WPT runner-up, Lee Watkinson, out tonight in fifth place. Yeah, the boy has come off. Lee Watkinson waterboarded out of here. He will pick up $282,000. He's a gentleman. He is out in fifth place, and he's going up to talk to Kimberly. Thanks, guys. Lee, I'm so bummed to see you go this soon. It actually looked like things were going your way at, uh, earlier. Uh, it's, um... I moved up a spot to fifth place. Um, I didn't have too high hopes for this. This I was so far behind in chips, but as it was, there was no pressure. And it's great to be back, and it's great to see that I can still make a final table with, with all these new young guns coming out. Um, it's good to be back, and next time I'll come in with more chips. Well, thank you so much. My good pleasure. to see you again. Thank you. Stay tuned. We'll come back with more action in just a moment. Back to the Pagata Poker Classic from Atlantic City. 
Close to $5 million prize pool we are going after tonight. Winner going to take home $1.4 million. Four players left. Our current chip leader is Gavin Griffin with $5.6 million in chips. David Train in second place with about $5.3 million. In third place, Tom Hare, retired printer. He's got $2.4 million. And in fourth place right now is Noah Schwartz with about $1.7 million. These are the guys left fighting it out for the $1.4 million first place prize and that coveted WPT title.